doing the emergency repairs to those Bollywood props that used the LED um, tape light were were quite educational in a way. Um, up to now, I've tended to avoid the waterproof stuff because I've always found it difficult to expose these copper pads for soldering. But once you get the knack of it, you tend to, if you slice down the end with a knife between the circuit board material and the pla the sort of plastic covering, it tends to peel away quite cleanly. And then if you make a wee sl uh, scratch on the surface or a, a shallow cut, you can generally just peel off quite a clean section and make connection to the solder joint. However, the main weakness with those Bollywood um, props was the fact that whenever you use LED in clothing, it's subject to a lot of movement. And in that case, they were using this, well, a similar to this RGB tape on umbrellas. And the umbrellas were being folded out and put in and they were being thrown about. And when the performers came off, they'd throw the umbrellas with quite force onto a big cart. Uh, and there's a big stack of these illuminated umbrellas. And uh, this is what happens when you're you're dealing with a live performance. You can't guarantee, you can tell the actors to be fairly gentle with the props, but ultimately you can't control it completely, particularly when under the pressure of a show. And so a lot of the LED tape was failing, um, partly through the, the use with the movement of the fabrics and partly because of it being thrown into the piles. And it made me realise there's quite a significant weakness in a way of using this tape. You see, if it was a continuous tape without any joints in it, it would probably be fairly robust. But if you look at um, any of these tapes, well, I'm, I'm not going to say it, it affects every single one of them, but all the ones um, I've got here that I've looked at, the ones that are commonly available in, from China, all have this thing here where after every half a metre, they've joined two sections together and I guess this is because it's easier to manufacture this as a sheet, slice it up and then join them end to end rather than manufacture it as a continuous conveyor belt of the um, the circuit board material. And if you look at other, say this is a, um, this is a single colour uh, version and once again they've got a joint here every 500 millimetres, every half metre, where they've overlaid them, overlapped them slightly and then put two blobs of solder. And solder isn't strong. Um, it's not as strong as actual wire. Particularly when you consider that the sort of cross section of that is just very thin. It's just almost like, it's almost like I'm looking for a piece of solder. I'm not seeing a piece of solder. One moment. It's almost as if it's just a, a cross section of solder like that, and you know that's that's just easy to snap and break, and it's not very good at taking bending. And if you look even at the fifty-fifty version of the tape, the thicker stuff, again every five hundred millimeters, there's a uh, the joint where they've overlapped uh, them and soldered them, and that was where it was breaking on those Hollywood props, those Bollywood props, should I say. So my solution at the time, and to be honest, I couldn't fix every single one. There were just so many of them breaking. Um, my solution at the time was to get... Uh, now I just have to find a pen. That, that was well planned. To get some of the replacement tape. And instead of trying to cut it, uh, instead of trying to be economic and say, if this is the tape, and those were the solder pads where you can connect onto it. Instead of trying to carefully cut down there and you know then I could use every single LED in the tape. I didn't. I actually cut it there and it meant that on every section of tape I was putting in I was actually wasting um, three a three LED section which is a disposable material so I wasn't really bothered about that. But that meant that when I put the two ends together I didn't have to overlap them. I could have the two pads on the other side and I bridged them with a bit of physical wire and then soldered it on. And that made for a much stronger joint. Um, and some of them where it was prone to a lot of movement, uh, I also, if there was time, mixed up some two-part resin because it was the only thing I could think of that would actually do the job properly and drizzled it on, hoped it didn't just flow everywhere. And uh, that, once that had cured, it meant that was really rock solid. It had joined the ends of the tape very firmly. But um, that's something to watch out for if you're using uh, this tape on costumes because it, it does find its way onto a lot of costumes. And that is a, a weakness, that little point that every 500 millimetres you've got that joint. 
Um, I think the answer there is just to either try and reinforce those areas where you see the joints with a bit of a, something solid stuck to the back, or um, just try and avoid putting them on too much flexible fabric if possible, um, because the, the the movement is just hell to LEDs. It just it just damages them very quickly. Um, so uh, wherever possible, I'd say try and get some sort of solid structure you can put the LED on. But yeah, all very educational.